so in the series of learning python programming language we are discussing operators in python in the previous video we have discussed arithmetic operators now next operators are assignment operator those we'll discuss in this video this video two type of operators assignment as well as comparison comparison or you can say relational operator these things we'll discuss in this video with the help of few examples we'll uh, see that thing first of all here and then i'll show you practical also on my laptop and then one assignment uh, so you can say one exercise also I'll give you that would be notes notes of this lecture you will find in the description box of this video the link you can check out that link okay I used to attach the notes of each lecture in the description box of that video only okay you can check out the description box so now assignment operator we are going to assign some value to a variable like if I write this equal to this is what assignment operator so on the left hand side we write variable name a b c x y z or anything so i am taking suppose a a is equal to 5 so this is what we are assigning the value value is on right hand side and we are assigning whatever is there on right hand side to left hand side so this is what assignment operator but you cannot write 5 equal to a this would be wrong this would be illegal because on left hand side there must be a container or a variable obviously a is what a variable or variable you can say a, a named memory location a so this is what a container or a memory location there we can store something so this 5 can be stored here but 5 this is what a constant we cannot store anything in a constant that would be illegal okay like if I write 5 equal to 5 that would be illegal okay on left hand side of this assignment operator there must be you can say a named memory location or a variable these kind of things okay I hope you got my you know logic see if I like I am on left uh, sorry I am on right hand side this camera is it's like equal to assignment operator sorry not equal to and on the right hand side of camera students are there okay students are what left hand side equal to right hand side this is me this is you can say camera and behind the camera suppose you are the students okay so generally teacher like you know whenever students don't pay attention he or she throw a chalk <laughs> when we were having chalks and at that time we used to throw chalks so if i throw any chalk a student can catch that chalk okay maybe so student is what a container so yeah it's fine if students are not there on left hand side so if I throw a chalk then that would be what that wall or that benches cannot hold that chalk that would be on the floor only okay so what's the logic to throw a chalk if students are not there there should be someone to catch that thing to hold that thing okay otherwise that would be you can say broken or you can say on the floor so that is some kind of thing I hope you are able to relate this thing so the left hand side should be a container or a variable this kind of thing so that whatever the value on the right hand side that can be stored here otherwise it will give error now see one thing if I write this uh, this kind of thing like a I am writing a is equal to 5 and a is equal to a plus 2 right so this thing we can write something like this a plus equal to 2 this is also comes under assignment operator this is what shorthand assignment operator rather than this we can write down plus equal to so same plus equal to minus equal to into equal to divide equal to this floor division equal to modulo equal to these are allowed power equal to these are shorthand assignment operators okay like if I write a is equal to a divided by 2 rather than this we can write a divided by equal to 2. So it will give 5 plus 2 7 same it will give if you don't write this thing if you write down this thing so this also give a is equal to 7 fine. So now if you will expand this kind of thing then the left hand side then you will write down equal to then again whatever you will add or, or subtract or whatever operation you will perform that would be on the this variable only so a equal to just write down a then plus 2 these are shorthand operators so yeah we will 
see this thing with the help of practically also I'll show you on my laptop okay how to use these operators and what would be the you know output now one more thing more than one assignment also you can do in one line like a b c five six seven these are allowed in python so if you print abc it will give you five six seven okay i'll show you these thing these thing on my laptop now next is comparison operator or relational operator now what are those relational operators less than greater than less than equal to greater than equal to double equal to not equal to double equal to means we are going to check the equality if left hand side is equal to right hand side so these are comparison operators fine these are used to check some conditions and the result of these operators would be either true or false depending on the condition suppose if i write something like this if a is equal to 5 and i want to print print a less than 5 is a less than 5 no so it is false so it will give the answer would be false if i print something like this a equal to equal to 5 we are checking the equality a is 5 yes a is equal to 5 so it is true so it will give you true so these are used to check some conditions based on the condition it will give you either true or false the output of these comparison operators would be true or false okay now let's see practically these things so let's see first of all we'll see assignment operator we'll take a variable a is equal to 5 and simply let's print a so let's run this and this a would be 5 would be assigned to this a so it will give 5 okay but if you write down something like this like 5 equal to a that would be wrong it will give syntax error let me just run this and show you syntax error can't, can't assign to literal here okay maybe you meant double equal to instead of equal to okay now if 5 equal to if you are writing 6 that is obviously of no use this also will give syntax error okay so left hand side should be a variable fine now more than one, one assignment we can do like a comma b comma c equal to 5 comma 4 comma 6 and print a b and c so let's run this and it will give you 5 4 6 see 5 4 and 6 okay now shorthand operators if i write a comma b equal to 4 comma 3 and uh, next thing what i am doing is c is equal to or I am doing a plus equal to 2. So it means what? And I am printing a. In a, 2 would be added. So it will give 6 because a is 4. Fine. Rather than plus, if I, now if I write something like this. c is equal to sorry c plus equal to a okay and before that i am writing c is equal to a plus b something like this okay and this time i am printing not a i am printing c only so what it will give just pause the video and find out the result c c is equal to a plus b in c we have now 7 4 plus 3 is 7 okay now a becomes 6 right now here a becomes 6 and this would be 7 c is equal to 7 so this line means this line means what this line means c is equal to c plus a we know this is shorthand operator so c is 7 a is 6 so it will give 13 it should give 13 now let's run this what it will give c it will give you 13 so rather than plus equal to you can use any operator like uh, if i write here c divide equal to a so in this case c here divide a so c is 7 a is 6 so if we will divide what it will give 
one, one point one six six seven. Okay, because uh, division always give floating number in Python three point x. If floor division you use, then it will give one only integer value, or you can round. For that, we will use round function. That we will discuss later in later video. So this is these are shorthand operators. Rather than plus equal to this, you can use any operators. More shorthand operators are also there, like left shift equal to right shift equal to. But we haven't discussed those left shift and right shift operator till now. Those are bitwise operators that we will discuss in later videos. So same if you got this these shorthand operators plus equal to minus equal to into equal to divide equal to power equal to then simply you can get those also left shift equal to right shift equal to okay now you just try out at your own one exercise is in the description box of this video in the notes whatever i'll give you the notes there we you have one exercise also you just try out that exercise and you will get assignment operators so what about relational operator let's take a is equal to 5 if i print something like this print a equal to equal to 5 so this is just want to check if a is equal to 5 yes it is true so it will give you true right if i check something like this print a less than equal to 5 less than equal to 5 it will also give you true if i check print a less than 5 it will give false because a is not less than 5 a is 5 so the third will give you false right like this if i write print okay we will check a not equal to 5 this is what exclamatory mark and equal to this is not equal to symbol so now let's run this and see the fourth one give you false a not equal to 5 but a is 5 so it is not true if i write a not equal to 6 in that case it is true because a is not equal to 6 so it will give in that case it will give you c the last it will give you true right and now what more print if i check like uh, a greater than 6 a is not greater than 6 it will give you false see the last one will give you false or if i write a greater than equal to 6 or then also it will give false if i write a greater than equal to 5 yes it will give you true see the last one it is true because a is 5 so relational operator or comparison operator basically give you true or false the result would be true or false based on the condition you are using okay the data you are using so these are relational operators or comparison operators but see rather than this a we can also use something some expression like if i write a plus one in bracket so what the last will give according to you true or false a plus one not equal to six see let's run this and it will give you false because a plus one first obviously the priority of this parenthesis is more highest so it would be executed first a plus one five plus one six six not equal to six no six is equal to six so it will give you false so rather than simply a variable some expression also we can write down here okay a plus one a plus two or if two variable a plus b are there a and b are there a plus b also you can write a minus b you can write down so these kind of expression also we can write down okay so you can try out these thing at your own with these operators so i hope you got what are assignment and comparison operators and how to use these operators so in the next video we'll see logical operators so now this is the next video till then bye bye take care